Hello friends, in this tutorial we will discuss about the analysis on the knuckle joint. So go to the static structure. Click on engineering data. Once this engineering data opened, just to change the young modulus value Pascal into mega Pascal so that easily we can analyze and uh, also you can change that tensile state into mega Pascal. Now again go back and import geometry. Just right click and import geometry and there is a knuckle joint. So this screen checks that means the geometry is imported successfully. Now go to the model. Now this is the knuckle joint, so we are going to do the analysis on this knuckle joint. So first uh, mesh this knuckle joint, go to mesh and generate mesh. Now we have to apply or give some boundary conditions. So go to static structural, then go to support and uh, choose fit support. Now select face, suppose this face is selected and uh, apply. Now this face is fixed, so now we have to give some forces. So go to load or uh, directly you can go uh, right click on the static structure go to insert and also you can apply the force from here now the force suppose i am selecting this page and uh, instead of matter i will choose the component now here see this is in j direction so apply the force in j direction suppose 20 kilo newton force and uh, apply this face now see the direction of the jet is in on the direction of knuckle joint so just change the direction instead of negative just put the positive force now here the direction is changed now go to the static structure and solve this boundary condition Now it is solved successfully. Now go to the solution and uh, right click and insert. And uh, there is a stress and click on the equivalent bond mesh. 
again you can also directly go to the deformation and select the directional deformation and uh, go to the solve now here there is a equivalent stress and the maximum stress is 58.4 mega pascal and minimum that is negligible here that 0.03 mega pascal so where the maximum stress just uh, by doing the probe look here there is a maximum stress here and the minimum stress here so get, let's get the value suppose here there is a 50.55 mega pascal 54 and the minimum stress so this is the zone where the stress is minimum and this zone the stress is maximum so again let's check this by the animation so just providing the animation look here how this beam is uh, the stress is generated here this red color indicates that the maximum stress is generated in this region and here it is uh, still in blue color so there is a very negligible or a very less stress generated and uh, this is the 32 times large greater than the true scale so let's go to the true scale and see how the deformation how the stress is generated so again now look here how the stress is generated so again go to large scale and next one in the directional deformation so the deformation is maximum now just convert this instead of x axis the directional deformation about uh, z axis then go to solve now look here the maximum deformation in the z direction is 0.13 mm and uh, let's go to the probe so this is the maximum deformation here and the minimum deformation here so let's uh, see with the help of animation Just look here how the deformation is changing. So again go to the true scale and check it. Is it visible to naked eye or not? So this is the deformation of true scale. Now convert it into a photo. So there is a report review by which we can get all the information about your applied boundary condition. So this is the knuckle joint and uh, this is the material information as you assign the structural steel. Now this is the graph of static structural and force. So I have applied a 20 km force, so this is the graph from 0 to 20 km force. Now again go to the geometry, directional deformation, stress. So this is all about the analysis of the knuckle joint, thank you for